Hey everyone, I'm Anna Berry. I'm speaking with Jacob Cohen, the CEO of Mango Suticles, also known as Mango RX, a company that focuses on developing, marketing, and selling men's health and wellness products, tapping into this massive marketplace for men's health, probably at an all-time high. I, I heard you say something around $4 billion annually. And today we're going to talk about a very common topic in today's world, ED, erectile dysfunction. And you have made quite a buzz in media with your Mango RX erectile function medication. So let's go there. Let's hash it out. Talk about your business model, Jacob, and this reach that you've already had with consumers. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. And, you know, if you take a look at the name Mango Suticles and specifically the name of our product, which is called Mango, it's a play on words called Man Go. We want men to go hard in every aspect of life, not just in the bedroom, but whether it's in the boardroom, at the gym, and in every aspect of, of life. Our flagship product is an erectile dysfunction product, and it's a compound. Um, up until now, uh, a lot of the companies that were selling direct-to-consumer telemedicine products online, pharmacy products online, it's mainly been generic products or what we call commercially available products. That is generic Viagra, generic Cialis, also known as Sildenafil and Tadalafil, and other products as well. But we decided to take it a step further, and we have come up with our proprietary formula and a compound that has three ingredients namely the first one being either the main ingredient in Viagra or Cialis, Tadalafil or Sildenafil, and we compound it with oxytocin, also known as the love hormone or what we call the cuddle chemical. And the uh, third one being L-arginine, which is an amino acid, which also is there to promote vasodilation, to promote blood flow. And those three, we not only compound it in a um, tablet, but it's actually an oral dissolvable tablet, which means you put it in your mouth, it dissolves under the tongue, and it goes into the bloodstream faster, so allowing it to kick in faster. So our tagline is ready, set, mango. You know, I've been doing media for 20 years and 20 years ago, you could not talk mm -hmm. about this. And yeah. now and now we can. And it's an important topic to sure. to to bring up people. This is this is real life. Um, I saw something in a previous interview. You said your investor is your consumer. So you're turning your consumer into your investor. Talk about that. As we're marketing to our investors, we want those investors to also be a, a customer, right? So we're spending a lot of mar money on marketing our company and our brand um, to the investors, to the investors marketplace. Then we also want them to understand what we're doing. Say, hey, that's a really cool product. I also potentially want to be a consumer as well. It, it's a very serious topic, erectile dysfunction. It it, it affects almost 40% of you know the male population out there. And it's increasingly getting worse within younger demographics, younger age demographics, notably a lot younger people, the younger males these days are uh, are being affected by erectile dysfunction through a number of topics um, or because of a number of topics or reasons, whether it's their job, whether it's the dating scene these days, you know, social media, having to constantly having having this constant pressure to perform. Well, I, I spent some time looking at your social media, and I have to say I chuckled a little bit. Uh, yeah. We're obviously coming upon an election year, and you have a fun pun around, um, I'll let you say it. I'll let you say that the slogan. What's your slogan? We're, we're looking to make America hard again. You know, okay. I mean, we have uh, great merchandise, and uh, we have a website, makeamericahardagain.com, where you can get hats and t-shirts and um, ice shaker bottles and things like that. Let's talk about your reach to the younger demographic. Like you said, talk about your partnership with the, the social media, Adam 22. Um, there's some new sponsorship with this podcast. So tell us a little bit about these new partnerships that you have going on. Again, absolutely. And, and you brought it to the, you know, you said something earlier that I've been trying to, um, or we're actually going to be focusing on more and that's, changing the message, right? Again, erectile dysfunction, we know that's the name of the, you know, of, of the issues that are at hand. But what we want to do is focus on erectile function. And it's not the fact that, hey, it's not working down there. It's just that, hey, it could be working better, right? I kind of equate it to just because someone may be a little overweight, he he's not, you don't want to call that person obese or fat. He just, hey, you know, you could lose a few pounds, right? You could always do better in life. You can always shed a few extra pounds. So you're ready for that summer season or 
um, you know, getting ready to fit into that dress or to that tuxedo at an event. Same thing here. It may not be that you're having, you know, bad sex. It's just you want to have better sex or you want to perform better. And we want that message to be relayed again to that younger demographic. So we're going to some of those outlets and we're hiring some of those, um, uh, you know, podcast hosts like Adam 22 with No Jumper and Plug Talk, uh, like Glenny Balls on uh, the Only Stands show with Barstool Sports. Um, we have some also we also have some very exciting uh, sponsorships coming up that 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 we're going to be announcing shortly that also cater to a younger demographic. So we're very excited about, per, you know, participating with some of these with some of these hosts and some of these and being associated with some of these podcasts, because again, it's going after that younger demographic. We're trying to widen that gap and that audience that's traditionally been reserved for an older audience up to date. Um, so we're very excited about these partnerships. They've been working out very well. And we, we've been seeing that age gap in our consumers and our customers has, um, has widened for sure. Well, let's also talk some numbers. It seems that Mango has been increasing sales revenue. So what does the fall look like? We're coming into a new quarter and the holidays. So we have a lot of things on the horizon that I believe will increase our numbers. Namely, again, some of these uh, sponsorships with these podcasts, we're slowly getting out in the marketplace. Um, the campaign with Make America Hard Again is putting a lot of eyeballs onto the company. We're getting some conversions through that because of what we're doing there. Uh, and also by adding new products, we should be, that should be adding to, you know, our growth on our top line as well. Well, it seems like you've got a great product and a great strategy. So thanks so much for breaking it down with us today. And I guess go hard or go home. No, it's uh, go home and get hard. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you say that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us, Jacob. We'll see you again in the future. Absolutely. Thank you, Anna.